Welcome to a lesson on the general form of a linear equation. So far, we've been working with the sloped intercept form of a linear equation, which is the form y equals mx plus b. And this form is very convenient because we could easily identify the slope, which is the coefficient of x, as well as the vertical intercept, which is equal to b. The general form of a linear equation, sometimes referred to as the standard form, is the form given here where we have ax plus by equals c. Notice how for general form, the x and y terms are on the left and the constant is on the right. Unfortunately, when a linear equation is in this form, the values of a, b, and c often don't tell us much about the graph of the linear equation. When we have a linear equation in this form, a, b, and c are constants, but for both equations, we can still view x as the input and y as the output. Just remember a vertical line is the only line that's not a function. Let's look at an example. Here we're asked to consider the linear equation 3x minus 5y equals 30, which is a linear equation in general form. In part a, we're asked to write this equation in sloped intercept form, or the form y equals mx plus b, which means we want to solve this equation for y. So beginning with 3x minus 5y equals 30, we first want to isolate the y term, so we'd subtract 3x on both sides and simplify. So here we have negative 5y equals, now on the right side, we could write 30 minus 3x, but remember in sloped intercept form, we normally have the x term first and the constant second. So let's write this difference as negative 3x plus 30. And now for the last step, to solve this equation for y, we would divide both sides by negative 5. Now on the right side here, instead of dividing the quantity by negative 5, let's divide each term by negative 5, which is equivalent. And now we simplify, so here we have one y or y equals, notice here the coefficient is negative three divided by negative five, which simplifies to positive three fifths, so we have three fifths x. And here we have plus three divided by negative five, which is negative six, so we have minus six. So this would be the equation in sloped intercept form, though this also could be given as y equals negative six, plus three-fifths x. But this form here would be much more common. For part b, we're asked to identify the slope. Well, now that we have the equation in sloped intercept form, remember the slope is equal to m, which is the coefficient of x. And therefore, the slope of this line is three-fifths. Part C, we're asked to determine the vertical intercept, and we can do this two ways. We know the linear equation in sloped intercept form is y equals three-fifths x minus six. So in this form, notice how b is equal to negative six, and therefore the vertical intercept would be the ordered pair zero comma negative six. Remember, whenever given the vertical and horizontal intercepts, we should always give the point as an ordered pair. We can also find the vertical intercept using the general form of the linear equation. Well, in order to determine the vertical intercept, we set x equal to zero and solve for y. And whenever determining the horizontal intercept, we set y equal to zero and solve for x. So let's show how to find the vertical intercept using the general form. So starting with three x minus five y equals 30, we would substitute zero for x. So we'd have three times zero minus five y equals 30. Well, three times zero is zero, so we have negative five y equals 30, dividing both sides by negative five. Notice how we have y equals negative six. And therefore, the vertical intercept, as we already know, would have coordinates zero comma negative six. It is important to not give the vertical intercept as just y equals negative six, because remember, this is actually an equation of a horizontal line. And now for part D, we're asked to determine the horizontal intercept, and there are no shortcuts when determining the horizontal intercept. Again, we must set y equal to zero and solve for x. And we could use either form of the equation. Let's go ahead and use the general form. So we'd have three x minus five y equals 30, and now we substitute zero for y. Notice how if we substitute zero for y, this term is going to be zero. Let's just go ahead and show that. So we'd have three x minus five times zero 
equals 30. Simplifying, we have 3x equals 30. Dividing both sides by 3, notice how we have x equals 3 divided by 3 equals 10. So again, the ordered pair for the horizontal intercept would be 10 comma 0. So notice how to determine the horizontal and vertical intercepts using the general form of the equation was a fairly straightforward process because either the x term simplified out or the y term simplified out. And therefore, if we just wanted to graph the linear equation 3x minus 5y equals 30, we could just find the vertical and horizontal intercepts, plot those two points, and graph the line. I do want to go back to the part where we found the slope, though. Now that we have two points on our line, we could use our slope formula to also determine the slope. So let's also show that. Again, here we found the slope after we put the equation in slope intercept form. But if we didn't do this, we could have found the vertical and horizontal intercepts and used the ordered pair 0 comma negative 6 and the ordered pair 10 comma 0 to find the slope using our slope formula. Where we know the slope m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So if we call this ordered pair x sub 1, y sub 1, and this ordered pair x sub 2, y sub 2, we would have the quantity 0 minus negative 6 divided by the quantity 10 minus 0. This simplifies to 6 tenths, which equals 3 fifths. So if we didn't want to put the equation in slope intercept form to find the slope, again, we could have found the intercepts and then used these two ordered pairs to determine the slope using our slope formula. I think we'll stop here for this part. In part two, we'll focus on graphing a linear equation given in standard form. I hope you found this helpful.